Regon. Rebgong in Tibetan. Means Golden Valley, where dreams come true. Today, Regong refers to the area of Tongren County, part of Huangnan Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, located in the east of Qinghai Tibet Plateau, where Tibetan as well as Han, Mongolian, Tu, and Hui ethnic groups inhabit. As an important part of Tibetan Buddhist art, Regong art was born in the 13th century. It includes paintings, murals in Thaka, clay and wooden sculptures, barbola, color paintings on buildings, patterns, butter sculptures, etc. Among Thaka, barbola and clay sculptures are the most famous. In early times, Regong art was completed in monasteries the contents of which range from the story of Shakyamuni, Bodhisattvas, Buddhist guardians, and fairies to other Buddhist stories. In late 15th century, the Gelongpa or Yellow Hat sect of Tibetan Buddhism was introduced to Longwu Valley. With the construction of monasteries and temples, art and handicrafts flourished. And by the mid 17th century, almost every local family produced either paintings or sculptures. The embryonic form of Rekong art has been created since then. Wuten Village is the center of Rekong art, where Thangka is most famous. In Wuten alone, more than 90% of the male farmers are Thangka artists, among whom Gerun Adargya and Chakdor are the most famous. The Thangka, or scroll painting, is a painted or embroidered Buddhist banner which was hung in monasteries, family altars, and occasionally was carried by monks in ceremonies too. Its contents include history, culture, Shakyamuni stories, different sects of Tibetan Buddhism, historical celebrities, medicine, astronomy, architecture, and so on. Thus, it can be regarded as the encyclopedia of Tibetan history and culture. Thangka is explicitly religious, of which all symbols and illusions must be in accordance with strict guidelines laid out by Buddhist scripture, such as the physical body of Buddha and the qualities of Buddha. Art objects, therefore, must follow rules specialized in the Buddhist scriptures in regards to proportions, shapes, colors, stances, hand positions, and attributes in order to correctly portray the Buddha or deities. The Rekong Thangka art is highly geometric. At the beginning, the artist works out the sketches of the images with the charcoal sticks. The drawing usually begins with a figure in the center and then goes to the surrounding deities or landscape. Coloring comes last. In Rekong, all pigments used to paint Thangka come from natural minerals, such as mineral pigments made from gold, silver, coral, agate, pearl, and diamond, or plant pigments made from saffron, madder, or rhubarb. They are mixed with animal glue and ox bile to make the luster stay. So over the years, the color of Thangka remains unchanged. 
There are eight basic colors, white, red, yellow, blue, green, purple, black, and gold. And through mixing 150 kinds of colors can be made. As the saying goes in Recon, one who fails to visit Recon does not know his skill is bad. One who fails to see Tanka does not know the color is unlimited. The secret of mixing colors is handed down from master to students. Painting Tanka entails a strenuous complex process. It needs composition, foundational line drawing, mixing paint, painting, redrawing, and shading and mounting. It will take several months or more to complete a work. Barbola Ghost Thang in Tibetan is a kind of special tanka. The Barbola works in Regong are mainly in the Jen Dui style. To make Jen Dui Barbola, artisans select silks and satins of different colors according to type of expression desired. Divide them into human, animal, flower, and bird shapes of a certain size, and then paste the patterns into the pre-cut paper models. The work creates a strong three-dimensional effect that looks like a colored embossment made of silk materials. Sculpture, which holds an important position in Regong art, mainly includes clay sculpture, wood carving, brick engraving, etc. But clay sculpture is the most popular and are combined with temple architecture. The material used is local unpolluted red mud. Rigon Thanka painting involves mastery of many demanding techniques, rules laid down by generations of Tibetan masters, learning to grind and apply the paints, which are made from natural stone pigments, and learning to prepare and apply details in pure gold. The creation of a Thanka painting involves skills and care at each stage and displays meticulous details and exquisite artisanship. A spiritual and religious expression is as important as an art form. The process of learning to paint Thaka is rigorous. Students often need five to 10 years to become an expert of Thaka painting. It requires extended concentration, attention to detail, and knowledge of the Buddhist philosophy, and must be carried out in a peaceful environment. It is the reason why Rekong art lasts. <laughs> 